Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over some worked examples to show you how to do problems involving power relationships. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. The first power relationship we'll look at is the one for power, current and voltage. So we'll do three examples for this. Question 1 says that a current of 620 milliamps flows through a PS4 when it is plugged into the mains. What is the power rating of the PS4? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the power P. We know the current I is 620 milliamps, which is the same as 620 times 10 to the minus 3 amps, and the voltage V is 230 volts because we're told it's the mains. So writing down our equation relating power, current and voltage, we have P equals IV. Substituting in the numbers gives 620 times 10 to the minus 3 times 230, and putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 143 watts. Question 2 says what is the current flowing through an 80 watt laptop if the potential difference, i.e. the voltage across it, is 25 volts? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the current I. We know the power of P is 80 watts and the voltage across it is 25 volts. So writing down our equation, we have P equals IV. Rearranging for I this time, we can divide both sides by V to get I equals P over V. Substituting in the numbers, we get 80 divided by 25. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 3.2 amps. Lastly, question 3 says that a light bulb has a power rating of 24 watts and a current of 3 amps flowing through it. What is the voltage across the bulb? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the voltage V. We know that the power of P is 24 watts and the current I is 3 amps. So writing down our equation, we have P equals IV and rearranging this time for V, we can divide both sides by I. So we get V equals P over I. Substituting in the numbers gives us 24 divided by 3 and putting that into your calculator gives a final answer of 8 volts. We'll now look at the power relationship for power, current and resistance and we'll do three examples for this one. So question one says that if a lamp has a resistance of 100 ohms and a current of 0.5 amps flowing through it, what is its power rating? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the power P. We know that current I is 0.5 amps and the resistance R is 100 ohms. So writing down our equation relating power, current and resistance, we have that P equals I squared R. Substituting in the numbers gives us 0.5 squared times 100, which if you put into your calculator, gives you an answer of 25 watts. Question 2 says that the heating element in a toaster has a power rating of 600 watts and a resistance of 37.5 ohms. What is the current flowing through it? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the current I. We know that the power P is 600 watts and the resistance R is 37.5 ohms. So writing down our equation, we have P equals I squared R, and rearranging for I squared this time, we divide both sides by R to get I squared equals P over R. Substituting in the numbers, we get 600 divided by 37.5, which equals 16 once you put it into your calculator. And then we need to take the square root of both sides, because right now we've got I squared is 16, so in order to find I, we need to square root both sides. So if we do that, we get that I equals root 16, which equals 4 amps. Lastly, question 3 says that if a 1500 watt convection heater has a current of 6 amps flowing through it, what is its resistance? So we're trying to find the resistance R. We know that the power P is 1500 watts and the current I is 6 amps. So writing down our equation, we have P equals I squared R. Rearranging this time for R, we divide both sides by I squared, so we get R equals P over I squared. Substituting in the numbers gives us 1500 divided by 6 squared. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 42 ohms. Lastly, we'll look at the relationship between power, voltage and resistance and we'll do three examples for this. Question 1 says that a TV connected to the mains has a resistance of 400 ohms. What is its power rating? Notice that it says mains, so you should be thinking voltage is 230 volts here. Writing down what we know from the question, power is what we're trying to find. The voltage, as we said, is 230 volts because it's the mains and the resistance R is 400 ohms. So writing down our equation relating power, voltage and resistance, we have P equals V squared over R. Substituting in the numbers gives us 230 squared divided by 400. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 132 watts. Question 2 says that if an electric shaver has a resistance of 3 ohms and a power rating of 15 watts, what is the voltage across it? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the voltage V. We know that the power of P is 15 watts and the resistance R is 3 ohms. So writing down our equation, we have P equals V squared over R. Rearranging for V squared this time, we can actually just multiply these two things together. So we get V squared equals PR. And substituting in the numbers gives us 15 times 3, which equals 45. So V squared is equal to 45. So we have to square root both sides now to find what V is. So V equals the square root of 45. And doing that in your calculator should give an answer of 6.7 volts. 
Lastly, question three says, what is the resistance of a 700 watt mains powered coffee machine? So again, we've got that word mains, so you should be thinking that the voltage is 230 volts. Writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the resistance R. We know that the voltage V is 230 volts and the power is 700 watts. So writing down our equation, we have P equals V squared over R. And rearranging for R this time, we can swap the P and the R round. So we get R equals V squared over P. Substituting in the numbers now, we get 230 squared over 700. And putting this into your calculator should give an answer of 76 ohms. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.